in the last video we have uh, we have learned that calculus of variation I'll use COV for this as a short form is study of variational problems and what are variational problems these are problems involving maxima or minima of functionals in this in this current video we will look at the examples of variational problems let us see what are the examples of variational problems first is suppose you have this plane I'll change the color suppose you have this plane xy plane this is my x axis this is your y axis and you have two points in the plane this is suppose a which is x1 comma y1 and this is point b which is x2 comma y2 okay you can join these two points using any curve for example i can join these two points with this curve i can join them by a straight line i can join them along a circle okay and along a parabola and so many things i can there are so many curves which i can use to join these two points a and b the problem is i would like to find out the smallest curve smallest curve as in the curve with smallest length joining the points a and b a and b so let us see what that problem will be if this is my point this is my point a this is my point b and suppose i have joined this with some curve y of x this curve is y of x okay so what is the length of this curve length will be if if this small element is ds the small element is ds and this is the point x1 comma y1 and this is the point x2 comma y2 then length is length of the curve yx which joining a and b will be this summation of ds basically what i will do is i'll i'll divide this curve into small very small parts and i'll measure the length of each part and then i'll add these parts to obtain the total length so basically and and i'll take these parts the number of these parts to be infinity so basically i'm looking for limit n tends to infinity summation ds these are n parts so which is basically integral ds from the point a to b okay now you can see if this is my ds this increment this will be along x axis so this is your dx and this increment this is along y axis so this is your dy now suppose that ds is very small so that this is a right angle triangle and you can apply the pythagoras theorem you have ds square is equal to dx square plus dy square therefore you have ds is equal to square root of 1 plus dy upon dx whole square times dx which i will write down as i'll use y prime for derivatives 1 plus y prime square dx therefore the length is equal to from x1 to x2 this is 1 plus y prime square dx therefore our, our problem is 
that I have to find out a curve y x such that this functional this is the length this is your functional okay you can see that here the domain element is y y is a function therefore functional we know that functional is function of functions so we have f of y is equal to from x1 to x2 1 plus y dash square dx the problem is find y x such that f y is minimum so minimum so this is a variational problem we learn to solve these problems for the time being I can tell that the solution to this problem is a straight line we know that the minimum distance between two points is along the straight line so the solution of this problem is a straight line next problem is that is very important problem that is brachistochron problem this is historically the uh, problem which introduced the subject of calculus of variation this was the first problem okay this was proposed by john bernoulli in the year 1696 this is the first problem which leads to the subject of calculus of variation so this is very important problem and very interesting as well this brachistochron this is a greek word this is actually combination of two words that is brachistos and chronos brachistos these both are greek words brachistos means smallest sorry shortest and this chronos means time okay so what this problem is suppose you have two points one point a here and a point b here okay and you you have some curve joining these two points a and b and from here you drop a particle from here you drop a particle and after dropping this particle moves along the curve this particle moves along the curve under the influence of gravity only there is no other force only gravity we we neglect that there is any kind of friction between this particle and this curve nothing we neglect everything then this part particle will slide down from a to b and it will take some time t right now if you change the nature of this curve if you if you choose some other curve suppose i have chosen this curve then this time will change so basically the time taken by the particle in uh, <coughs> moving down sliding down from point a to point b along the curve under the influence of gravity is a function of that curve right the problem is our aim is find out a curve along which the time taken is minimum and obviously along uh, along which the particle will move according to this whatever i have written that the uh, there is only gravity acting on the particle no other force 
this is the problem this is the brachistochron famous brachistochron problem this is also called the problem of minimum or quickest descent because this is the quickest descent from here to here so this is also call, called the problem of quickest descent now let us see how this is a variational problem I assume that I can choose my coordinate axis according to my convenience suppose this is my x-axis this is my y-axis this is my origin and this is my starting point I have a curve from here to here this is my point B this is suppose A comma B and the particle starts moving from here I have to find out what is the time taken by the particle in moving from here to here and suppose the equation of the curve is y of x okay so what will be the time suppose at this point this is my x comma y of x point this point suppose at this point the velocity is v okay and this is a small element along the curve this is ds and I assume that in moving from here to here from this in covering this small distance ds the velocity is constant dv uh, sorry v in covering this distance ds which is very small the velocity of the particle remains constant which is v I am assuming this therefore time dt which is distance upon velocity so time uh, taken by the particle in traveling this much distance ds is ds upon v this is the time taken by the particle for covering the distance ds and you assume that the velocity is constant for this small distance therefore total time will be integration of ds dt which is integration of ds upon v now let us see ds what is ds as we have already seen this is 1 plus y prime square dx upon v now let us try to compute what this v is this this length from here to here this vertical distance as the coordinates of this point are x comma y therefore this is y okay and if the velocity of the particle here is v here we, we assume that we have dropped the particle from here therefore velocity at this point is zero velocity at origin is zero and velocity here is v <coughs> therefore all the energy which the particle possessed at this point was potential energy and here when particle reaches here some of the potential energy converted into kinetic energy and how much potential energy is lost this much height the loss in potential energy is corresponding to the loss in this height which is we know that if there is a loss of height y then the potential energy lost is mgh sorry mg y and this should be equal to the kinetic energy possessed by the particle at this point which is half mv square therefore from here we have v is equal to square root of 2gy therefore finally I can write down this equation as 1 plus y dash square dx upon square root of 2gy therefore we obtain that time is a function of the curve y this is equal to from 0 to a 1 plus y dash square dx upon square root of 2gy you can see that this is a functional and the problem is find out y of x such that t of y is minimum so this is a variational problem and the solution to this problem is a cycloid 
will will learn these things in more detail thank you